Now the car is not yet a killer car, it really only just moves, and it moves very well I might add, but in order to make it into a killer car, what we want it to do is we want it another if touching, and we want to know if we're touching the frog. So I'm going to go and get another if, I'm going to go to sensing and get another touching, and I'm going to choose if touching the frog, put that into my if. Now. What I want to do now is I want to have some way of communicating between these two sprites, between these two objects. And there are two different ways to do it uh, in Scratch. The first is to make a variable. Uh, a list is just a longer variable. And the other way is under events to broadcast messages and receive messages. Now we'll use broadcast later on and broadcast is very helpful. But in this situation we need something to happen instantly and we need to happen in line. Uh, and that's okay if you don't understand in line yet, but we're gonna make a variable and we're gonna call it frog is dead. Okay, and it's gonna be for all sprites, so just leave it the way it is. And now we have a variable called frog is dead. It's now showing up here as frog is dead is zero, which um, let's leave it there for now, but if you wanna make it disappear, you just uncheck that box and it disappears. Okay, and so at the beginning of our game, uh, I'm just going to go back to the frog for a second. At the beginning of our game, right after the green flag is clicked, we're going to set frog is dead to zero. And zero in this case means false. Um, one will mean true. And actually, I can just add a comment to that right now that says that zero equals false and one equals true. Okay, so that's uh, that's a quick little comment for us. Just make that a bit smaller, there we go. So for frog is dead, zero equals false and one equals true. So is the frog dead? No, at the beginning of the game the frog is not dead and so it should be alive. So let's go to our convertible, to our car, and if we're touching the frog, then we want to set frog is dead to one, which means yes, the frog is now dead. Now the car doesn't care. So now I've got it in there. Now please make sure this is bad where the if is inside the if, that's very bad. And it's good if the if is underneath the other if. So if touching the edge, then do this. And if touching the frog, then set this. So this is going to be our way to communicate between the car and the frog. And so right now the frog, uh, the car, sorry, is just going to carry on carrying on. It's just going to keep driving. And if it drives over top of the frog, so be it. It's going to tell the frog you're dead, but it's just going to keep driving on. So let's run this and we'll, s and there we go. So frog is dead is now set to one. You can see up here but nothing yet happens to the frog. So let's, in the next video, we're going to uh, set that up so that now that the car is telling the frog that it's dead, now the frog will have to do some actions now that it is realizing that it is dead.